Okay, we're going to be covering uh, winter tire checkup. The season's change and it gets colder out. Uh, air pressures tend to drop in the tires, go substantially lower than summer operating pressure, which can be dangerous. Um, we'll go over the basic uh, air pressure check with both styles of gauges. Uh, obviously, first you want to locate the valve stem and remove the cover. Standard lefty Lucy takeoff little cap. Most people will be familiar with this style of tester, uh, available just about everywhere for less than $2. Um, you'll want to locate on the tire where the indicator that says safe operating range for air pressure. Generally, it's 44 PSI these days. Some of the older cars will have 35 to 37. This one happens to be 44. And press firmly and hold it on and give it a couple seconds. As we can see, this one's a tad low, reads about 35. This is another style of gauge, a little bit higher performance, comes with the meter on it. Uh, it's not important for this, we're just gonna use this to fill it up, add a few pounds to it, so. And I prefer to go about a pound below their maximum which puts this one at 43 safe with a top of 44. That leaves just a little bit of room for expansion. Another important thing to check is tire thickness or any unusual tire wear, especially on the outside edge. Uh, on the turning tires, uh, we'll tend to kind of take the outside edge off. If this looks exceptionally thinner than the center, definitely take that to a tire shop and get it checked. Also check for punctures, screws, any foreign objects in it at all. Um, other than that, you know, it's a good chance to see what your brakes look like and make sure when you finish the job, you replace the cap because if that gets full of dirt, you won't be able to check your air pressure again without changing the valve stem out. And that pretty much covers it. Alrighty, thanks Lawson.